What is that? It's a fucking piss take. You're all taking the piss out of me. A tough couple of, a uh, tough couple of years. <laughs> Bitch, I'm back on my coma. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Honestly, I don't remember. I was crazy back then. <laughs> I am like a pig in shit. Hey, hun. How are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? Today we're getting bunk beds and traits. I mean, we've already got traits, although have we? Because that much is debatable. That much is not true. I thought I'd go through the update notes while it updates, but we don't have the update notes. Where do we find update notes? And how do people know these things? Like, I don't get it. I had to ask five different people what time the update was even live. You know what? At this point, if I'm asking five people and five people know the answer, it could be... It could be me. I could be the issue. The once was a Sims game update that installed right on time. But this update is a fucking bitch and it's gonna make me cry. Hello? Hello? Oh. While we wait for it to install. I'm blue, dabba dee dabba da. I'd like Americans to put in the comment whether they know this song. Oh, the update's installing again. It's only gonna take 18 hours. I've got time. <laughs> I've got time. <laughs> anyway, no ma. Blaze da blaze na no ma no ma ye no ma no ma ye Hello Hello I don't know what I'm singing I could be singing fucking Jesus Christ was a Tory No ma no ma ye Oh Jesus would be Jesus would be Green Party God like actual God if he exists would be I think he'd be Tory She's ready to play the lighting is going to be temperamental in this video because I live in England oh let me just scoot that camera down and the lighting changes often so you never quite know where you stand or where you go you just gotta go with the floor you know what just shout out uh to me because i tried something today that is notorious for helping with your mental health and shock horror it helped with my mental health right i'm going smack bang i'm going into trades because to be honest i can wait for bunk beds i could have waited for bunk beds another six months what is time in quarantine we have updated traits that's me getting my glasses on to look from because i can't fucking see now am i legally blind let me move myself make myself an eye out the way right now and flippity flippity myself around so you can join in on the pain sorry okay so we've got no new traits. Let's jump into game. I can't remember what traits to give him. Probably should have thought about it. Uh, oh, my camera's still in the middle. Hey, hey, sorry, everybody. Well, maybe maybe I am the star of the show. Oh, guys, I fell off my bike today. Trigger warning, blood. Fell off my bike, smashed me head against a wall. It's fucking embarrassing, to be honest with you. That's right, I'm going to Newcrest, my favourite place to be. Apart from on my bike. I'm a biker now. I exercise. Trait improvement day, but I don't know why or how it's improved. Sims, don't be shy. Send the update notes. Patch notes incoming. We know we're fucked when Sims community doesn't have the patch notes. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, my heart just went pitter patter because I saw that and I got excited. I am curious though, because in the image, right, before we actually go in, I'm gonna, gonna say some things that I thought, which I should, probably should have done in the introduction, but I was too busy, blessed, I blessed. And it looked on the picture, right, it had two separate bed covers. Now, beds in The Sims 4 don't work like that. The base and the bed cover is one and the same, which is honestly one of the worst design decisions that has ever been made in the history of The Sims franchise. And you know what, I'll stand by that and I'd say it again. On this one, it had two beds, right, but say they were both, say they both had white bases there one of them had a different color mattress not mattress well mattress probably as well yeah you know what i don't want to say that the mattress wasn't different she could have been she could have been where's me fucking bed <gasps> oh my god we do have lofted ones oh my god stop the fuck why are they not in kids rooms or what was the reason okay so this one interesting i hate that so do these count as like oh okay these do count as one stacked under the other i hate it i hate it and i'm here to tell you why i'm here to tell you why although they have done a kind of work around for it i guess i hate it because right sorry i'm shouting a i hate these bed sheets these are some of my least favorite bed sheets in the game i would have <gasps> we do have more variety i'm happy with that i'm happy with that but you know what i'm not happy about wait no i am happy about that i thought that one came with an expansion pack sorry i take it back i was ready to go hard then wait we do have these ones i am happy about i hope that in time and this is directly to the sims team i hope that in time we will be able to get more updated um bunk beds because you so I've got the animations now, so you've got no excuses, hens. I'm just gonna let you know. Because all the la the ladders are in the same place for both. I do like that we've got lofted and not lofted. Pleasantly surprised that we've got two as well. And I do like how they work like that. But I am disappointed in the colours because if we have, for example, we've got twins that are the same age. One of them wants a light bedspread, one of them wants a dark. That's quite jarring. So then that limits our design choices quite a bit. 
because I mean, I suppose you could have the one who likes light on the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. My thought process would just be, we've already got this bit of wood covering that bit. Why not just bring it all the way down so then we don't have the white thing? Because it'd be a lot less jarring to have... Do I... Is there a picture that's like black that I could use to show my thoughts and opinion? Right, we've got this thing from a uh, dine out. If the wood was covered all the way, like that, can you see what I mean? Like, that's a lot less jarring. And then you can have literally whatever colour you want. It isn't as jarring, but then you take... Tech... Oh, sorry, took the whole bunk bed away. But then you put that there, it is quite jarring. Although, I am I being nitpicky right now? Yeah. Anyway, let me investigate these ones because I am more curious at these ones. I do like as well that if you pick the bottom bunk out, then the bottom bunk is, is separate. But if you just pick the top bunk up, then it can work like that. I'm also interested to see, let me turn bb.moveobjects off. I'm interested to see how much flexibility we've got with these bunk beds. Yeah, bastard. I want to see as well, if I put that there, I want to see if they're both usable. Right, you can use that one. And then that, if I put that one there. Why? Literally, maybe if I move it over a bit. Why the fuck? Literally, why? I know bunk beds look like that traditionally, but like what I loved about bunk beds in older games, I'm going to say her name, The Sims 3, is that you could have the bed underneath whichever way you wanted. Let me try and put a desk there. Because literally, if you can't put a desk there or anything else, you like if you can't utilise the space underneath the bed, then there's no point in having bunk beds. Because bunk beds are known like to have the two. No, you can't. You, what the... Right, we can sit. Oh, okay. Right, we can play Sim Scuffle there. Can we just do it automatically or do I have to click sit each time? My head's covering it, right? But it automatically comes up and he can't reach it. But if I click sit first, play game play a blick block then he can do it i want to see if like if it's because of height restrictions i'm gonna have to steal a child i feel like a fucking freak waiting, waiting around at a park to steal a child but needs must add to family sorry i don't promote this in real life obviously right we have a child i want to put it in an actual room oh that lighting's lovely isn't it oh love that right i'm gonna put some things that i would utilize a space under your bed for so a i'd put one of these maybe like there and then i would put a computer desk but this is why i love bunk beds in the sims 3 because there was so so many options to them like he could really do so much he can't even sleep in the bed can't use that can't use anything oh we can use it we can use that well that's nice not a total blop then can we use the favorite child of the series oh of course we can use the favorite child of the series under the bed i'm just gonna trial and error right that works i'm just really disappointed with the bed like let me try both bunk beds as well because i just don't want to believe it can't be done i'll be honest because it is my favorite like this is why i wanted bunk beds in the game and now the, my dreams for bunk beds can't actually be fulfilled what about if we put it in the middle oh that can be used so was it the age restriction or is it just finicky? No, he can use it too. But now they can't use one upstairs, right? I understand, I understand. So basically I got my hopes up and for what? For what? <laughs> for what? <laughs> for what? <gasps> I mean, you know what? Let me just let me just test real quick whether the actual bunk beds were. Right, well, at least they serve their purpose, right? Do we have the patch notes yet? Because I don't understand uh, traits. No, but I haven't noticed anything in game. And there's, there's no new traits so and there's nothing in here. So I think we have new posts. Uh, you know what? I'm really sad. You could tell from the intro that I made in this video, right? That I was excited for this and that I wanted to see it come. And then the work. And that's nice. But I don't know. Well, I do know. Right, they've got more colours. I do like that. Yes, that is very nice. Thank you. Listen, I don't just want to be a negative Nancy. I really don't. And you can tell by the introduction that I made for this, which took me a while. It took me a while to make that, that edit. You could tell i was genuinely excited for this and it made me want to pick up the sims again but also just sorry i'm just messing about with the game i've said it already in the video but one of the reasons that i really liked bunk beds originally like in the sims 3 was the creativity you could have with them because i used to have like so many things underneath my bunk beds and it it opened up so much more opportunities which sounds daft because it's literally about bunk beds and games and it's like why are you getting so upset about a bunk bed <laughs> well i'm getting so upset about a bunk bed because i broke my clip or oh, does anything ever go right oh there we go i fixed it hey hey like objectively the workers bunk beds objectively they're delivered on the assignment but subjectively like i don't want to say it's half assed because i don't think that it is i just think that they've missed i think they've missed the reason why we want bunk beds when they were designing bunk beds we don't just want bunk beds because we like the look of them that is a factor that's a contributing factor but we want bunk beds because they offer so much more utilization of space and we can't utilize those space with the bunk beds that's it those are what i want to say i'm not thoroughly disappointed with them but i'm not thoroughly happy with them either 
Um, also, the traits, I'm going to have to wait to the update notes for that one. And they are not here. They don't want to be seen. They said, do not perceive me here on this day. And I like the posters. But yeah, let me know what you think. Because I do like them. Will I use them? Yes. But I wish that that, that, that had been done better. So we could utilise the space for them all. But that is everything I have here today. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all very, very much. Please let me know what you think as well. Because I don't know. I like them, but kind of missed the mark. Uh, love you all. Bye.